Labradoodles are crosses between Labrador Retrievers and Poodles, designed to have the gentle and faithful personality of a Labrador Retriever and the low shedding coat of a Poodle. This makes them the ideal hypoallergenic pup well, as much as any dog can be considered hypoallergenic. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. Do Labradoodles shed? Unlike with purebred dogs, when you have a very good idea of what physical and personality traits a dog is likely to be born with, with crossbreeds you don't know how the characteristics are going to combine. So, you could get a Labradoodle with the low shedding coat of a Poodle, or you could end up with a Labradoodle with the profusely shedding coat of a Golden Retriever. While, in theory, whether your dog will be a big shedder or a low shedder is 50-50, the reality is a bit different. Since a low shedding dog is one of the most desirable traits of a Labradoodle, it is something that breeders control for. When they are mixing a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle, they will look out for pairings that have already produced the desired coat and try to control for that, though of course not every litter will be the same. But Labradoodles aren't just created by breeding Labradors and Poodles they are also created by breeding their Labradoodle offspring. Also, if you are specifically looking for a low shedding Labradoodle due to allergies, or for other reasons why you might need to avoid excessive shedding, breeders will do their best to identify a low shedding puppy for you. What are Labradoodle coats like? There are generally three types of coat that you get with a Labradoodle, wool, fleece, or hair. Wool Labradoodles with a wool coat are often called curly Labradoodles, and they are the ones that most look like they have the coat of their poodle parent. The curls vary in tightness, but they are generally tight enough that they are low shedding, with any hair they let go of getting caught up in their coat. These dogs need lots of grooming, and need to be brushed preferably on a daily basis to remove excessive hair. If this isn't done, the coat can easily become matted. Nevertheless, these are the best types of Labradoodles for anyone with an allergy. Fleece Labradoodles with a fleece coat are often referred to as shaggy, which is probably the most common type of Labradoodle coat. The curls within the fleece are wavy, but vary from a modest wave to a fairly tight curl. The coat is low shedding, but these dogs do still shed though much less profusely than you would expect from a Labrador. These, shaggy, Labradoodles generally need thorough grooming at least once a week. Hair. This is the least common coat type among Labradoodles and looks a lot like the straight-haired coats of purebred Labrador Retrievers but a bit scruffier. They also tend to shed just as much as purebred Labs. This type of coat is not always readily noticeable on a puppy Labradoodle, and will only start to become apparent when they get to about 12 weeks of age. Pups with these coats only tend to result from first-generation mixes of Labradors and Poodles. Since they aren't as desirable as low-shedding Labradoodles, you might be able to get one a bit cheaper than another pup, and they make excellent family pets as long as no one in the house has allergies. Are Labradoodles hypoallergenic? Even if you get yourself a Labradoodle with a nice wool coat, it might be a stretch to call them hypoallergenic. All dogs shed their hair and will release some of the allergy causing dander as they shed. But some dogs, such as poodles, have coats that shed much less and leave less dander lying around. The hair is caught up in their coat and has to be brushed out. So, while dogs with these coats are definitely better for people with allergies, they are not technically hypoallergenic. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.